everyone, this is Peggy with Sweet Tea Makery. So uh, today, or tonight, um, I thought that we would do a mixed media fall craft, and it can be fall or Thanksgiving. Um, I'll give a few minutes for folks to join me. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I love to craft, I love the wreath. Um, I love to do silk flower arrangements. So, um, I have a Facebook page, which you're watching, so if you're not following me now, go ahead and do so. Um, but I also have a, um, a, pay, a channel on YouTube called Sweet Tea Makery, and I'll put that link uh, in the comments um, in just a little bit. But uh, um, that's where I'll be uploading this video and some other neat uh, fall crafts and uh, things that I'll be doing. So. Um, let me see if I can get to your comments. Facebook's been a little wonky, so um, hopefully we'll get there. Let me see if I can get to us and see if I can see comments. It may have to go all the way back out. I hate this. I really do hate, hate this. Um, that we have to go all the way back out. There we go. And I'm not sure if my comments are going to show... I may have to turn my my um, iPad around and see if it will let me see them. I'm gonna swipe. So if you're there, say hi, so I know that you're there, and uh, and I can hopefully see comments. If not, I'll come back and we'll take a um, look at um, your comments, and then I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So, um, I will try to get through all three, hopefully I can, but if not, um, we'll do as many as we can. So, one of the crafts is um, a cute, and let me know, y'all, let me know if, um, if you can see. I may have to turn this light off, and let me know if you're able to see um, what I'm doing here. Let me see if we can swipe them. And... So, um, what this is... I still think I need a, a light. So, we're gonna try to angle. It's mixed media, and it's a cute little pumpkin pie. Um, it measures about, about nine inches, and you can either make banners from these, you can either kinda, you know, put them together and hang them from your mantle, or you can add them to your um, wreath, if you're making a wreath, or you can take um, uh, and make your own, I'll show you sometimes, I'll make my own little stakes. I don't usually use a large one like that, but anyway, I'll make them and then I can stick them down in a centerpiece. So there, there's a lot of variety. You can even hang them on a doorknob in your house and they're kind of just cute to do. So today we're gonna do mixed media, but I'll do another um, live where I actually will be hand painting them uh, a design on them so if you're just joining me now say hello and tell me where you're viewing from I always love to see who's watching my little crafty crafts but um, again we're gonna be doing three we're gonna be making this pumpkin pie and we're gonna be doing a pilgrim hat and a uh, scarecrow hat so hopefully again we'll get all get through all three of them and again, y'all, I'm not seeing comments. I don't know why, but it's just not showing up. So I apologize. All right, I'm gonna tilt you down to show you how I made uh, the pumpkin pie one. That's the, the main one I want to show you for sure tonight. So, and tell me if you can't see. Again, I really hope that um, Y'all, I haven't got my Mevo set up correctly yet, so hopefully we'll get this going. I am going to post this up on my YouTube channel, so hopefully you'll get a better better view of that. All right. We got a little bit of a shadow because I have a light here, so we can tilt the light out just a bit. And I can turn it, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so my goal is to make 
a set for fall, a set for Christmas, and a, well, a set for Halloween, and a set for Christmas. Now, you can make them all pumpkin pies, or you can mix them up, but I am using going to use one item to make all the different things. So what this is, it's already, it comes in a pack of seven, and on my YouTube channel, hey, Lauren, how are you doing? Oh, wow. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hey, Brenda. Um, so what this is, is a wooden pennant, and on my YouTube channel, when I upload it, I'm going to have full description of all the items and where you can um, order them from, um, or where I got them from. Some of them are local things and some of them I had to order online so anyway so um, what I'm doing is I am just making a craft and my goal was a little challenge to myself was to um, was to try to just use this one piece and figure out how to make something for for each season so I'm gonna set this aside and I pre-made this one. The other ones are not pre-made, um, but I pre-made this one so you could see a finished piece in the beginning um, of how it's going to look. So what I did was to save time. Um, hey, Angie, how are you? Uh, to save time, I went ahead and pre-painted these. Now, I like to paint both the front and back because um, I'll do a mixed media on one side, and then I'll actually hand paint. I'm not doing that tonight. I'm going to do that on another live. I'll hand paint a d design on the other side. So um, with this one, I will tell you, it's hard to see on the live, but I hope you can see it has a sparkle to it. So what I did was, before I added um, this little floral, I actually sprayed it um, with some... Uh, uh, diamond dust glitter spray diamond dust to give it kind of a sparkly look and I, I really don't know if you can tell but for this one um, I'm just gonna leave it more plain and not do that sparkle so um, let me tell you on YouTube um, when I go and do this and I upload it uh, this one and my fall I mean I'm sorry my Halloween and my Christmas one I'm gonna do a giveaway okay so I'll let someone pick um, the, uh, y'all, my comments aren't scrolling, so, um, anyway, on my YouTube channel, um, I'm planning on doing a giveaway, so, um, let me see, um, oh, you can see the sparkles, and really, you can sparkle everything up, everybody loves glitter, right, you know, so, anyway, um, I'm gonna move a little bit out of this, this stuff out of the way, I kind of just threw everything, I went through my stash of my crafts, and, just grabbed everything that I thought looked fallish in uh, case I needed it. So, I mean, I've got a variety of ribbons. These buy, I buy them for like a dollar at Walmart or, you know, I just buy them throughout. So let's go ahead and get started on this particular one. So, and I just, again, I just grab things out of my stash. So for this one, I used, um, I prefer folk art paint. It's a little bit more expensive. You can get it um, on sale. Um, but uh, I do use Apple Barrel. Um, it's just the thing with the Apple Barrel is that it's a very thin, um, thinner paint than folk art. So you have to do more coats. So for this one, really only took, um, with a dry brush technique, um, it only took um, two coats. Um, and then I just dried them in between with my hair dryer. Um, and what I did was, I'm just going to show you real quick so you know um, what to do. Um, if I find that one, we'll get it. Is that I just prep it first. I just quickly go through and sand the edges because I don't want to get any splinters. I just sand the top and, uh, and all the edges. And, uh, you know, brush it off with a paper towel. I usually use a damp paper towel. And, um, you know, to get any of the, the dust off. And then I'll paint it. So, again, I used uh, folk art, and it's the terracotta, which kind of looked like pumpkinish to me. I don't know about y'all, but did it look pumpkin, pumpkin to you? So, um, let's just get started. 
So again, I would have sprayed it and let that dry with the glitter. And what I did was I picked up um, some of these Rhinoculus. And um, I got them in several colors. And y'all, um, seriously, I just love these, these earthy colors. And um, they had these uh, on clearance at Joann's about, uh, I think last Thursday. And they were marked down to 78 cents. No kidding for a, for a, uh, a bush. So um, I grabbed as many as I could. They were out in the clearance section. So just a heads up. So I've got my glue gun um, going. Let's see. Again, y'all, I wish I could see comments. Um, but I can't, so I will go back and answer them. And I am going to just trim off, and this reminded me of sort of like whipped cream. I don't know if it, if it reminds y'all of um, whipped cream or not, but it did for me. And then I'm just going to trim. I'm just trimming. And um, we're going to, just going to pick the center. And I'm going to take my glue gun. Let's hope it works. This is a brand new one. Yep, it did. And I'm just going to put some glue. I'll tell you what, before we'll just set that down. And I'm just going to center that right about here. And while this is drying, I'm going to take some wired ribbon that I purchased locally. I'm going to trim it. And y'all, this is not really, there's no set amount. You have to kind of just judge it. So let's scoot some of these out of the way. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over, I'm going to fold over about that much. This is the base that we're going to use to glue this here, okay? So we'll start with that, but before we get started with that, I wanted to show you, um, since we're going to be gluing here, um, you can go ahead and make your um, hanger. So however you decide. Now these come pre-cut with holes, okay? And um, so, uh, you know, and some of them I use in a different way. Um, so um, you can take tape if you want to, some clear tape or painter's tape. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see, did I do that? Let me look on the back of that. Okay, I did not it. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead. I'll flip this over because it's dry. And we're just gonna make a knot. And again, if you don't wanna use this as a hanger, you don't have to, um, you know, just, just make a knot and we'll see how far we want it. We'll just do it that much. And again, I hope I can get through all three of these, but if not, I'm gonna redo this tomorrow, or actually tomorrow morning, and I'm gonna do all three and load it up to my YouTube channel. But if we get through them tonight, I'll just upload this video. And again, I'm not very good knot tire, apparently, tonight. <laughs> I hope y'all can see. Let me know if you can. Again, I may have to go back out. And if y'all can hear me, because it's not really letting me swipe over for comment. I mean, I see the first comments, but I don't see, uh, well, darn it, I'm talking and... Apparently, I can't talk and craft. And really, you can't do this if you, I may have to tape it. This is real life, y'all. I didn't, I didn't uh, pre-do all this. I should have, but I grabbed stuff, but I didn't pre-do it. Pre-make everything. There we go. Let's hope it pulls. And again, you don't, you don't have to hang it like I am. You can actually make several of them and string them along. Okay, so now we've got this part done here. And I like adding things like this to make a mixed media. Like if you have a large door hanger, 
Um, just to tell you, if you've had a large pumpkin pie slice um, and you don't know how to paint, this is, you know, you're afraid to paint, um, this is a one way that you can do something. I mean, any, most anybody can paint something orange, right? And then you can use flowers like these and ribbon to really make it cute and um, you don't have to worry about painting them. So what we did was we're going back to the ribbon and we're gonna do an accordion. As you can see here, that's what I did. And you really want wired ribbon because that's what's gonna hold this. I made this probably uh, over a week and a half ago um, and um, she actually shared it with my business mentor and she, she loved it. Um, so we're just going to start folding make sure yeah okay so this is our first fold and remember this is the part we're gonna lay flat and glue here and then we're just going to do that back and forth and I'm using this to measure so I'm just using equal amounts and we're just gonna fold it back and forth and y'all I'll check so I'll just give you a quick peek. See how it's making that accordion? I don't know why. Facebook shows you the first couple of comments and then you cannot see the rest. And I just kind of open it up and judge it as I go because you never know, you know, how, how equal, you know, how equal it's going to be. So I need a little bit more. And it's okay if one's a little larger than the other. It's not any big deal. And this kind of color of ribbon just reminded me of the crust of a, of a pumpkin pie. Okay, so that looks pretty, pretty darn close. Okay. Let's see if I wanna go a little further. There we go. Uh, I might do a couple more because I can always trim it before I put it on. And y'all, I can't wait to do the Halloween and Christmas ones. They're so cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of trim it off just like that. Let me grab my, grab my little pin, pin holder, Oops, long ones, I want a shorty, and put my ribbon to a side. And this is, by the way, y'all, this is a magnetic um, pin holder. I'll, in my description on my YouTube channel, I'll show you a link for that. It's awesome. It holds your pins. It's awesome. Just don't put it close to your computer or um, any um, electronic device because it does have a magnet. Okay, so I wanna do that. I may fold it over back this way so it has a pretty side. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll pull this one and I actually go trim it off a little bit more. And we're gonna fold it over this way. So now we have it like this. And these are our little tabs that we're gonna use to glue this down. And you could embellish this, you know, any way you want. You know, you don't have to. Um, I'll see if I can find my little rubber, rubber finger because I don't want to burn my finger. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some glue to this side. Let me get my rubber finger on there because Definitely don't want to burn my finger. Um, now, you know, you can use a, this is a hot glue gun, but you can use, sorry for reaching y'all. Um, you can use a, uh, a low temperature too. You know, it just takes, you know, a little longer drying time. Let me shift it over. There we go. 
And if you don't quite get it, you can adjust it. Okay. And then we're just going to pull it. Of course, you can neaten this up. I'm a little nervous, y'all, so please forgive me. It's been a while since I've done a, um, done a, uh, I just want to measure that, yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to fold this back, and I'm going to run um, a line of glue right across here. And I have more of these little fingers, but who knows? They're too hard to, uh, And this is going to be covered, so it doesn't, you know, doesn't have to be any neat, specific way. So again, I'm going to glue this in lastly. So I just kind of hold it where I want it. And then I'm just going to press down. And again, you can adjust them. I'm just going to press that down. And you can, I'm just going to tell you, so you can, it holds it pretty good. Kind of see how it looks. It'll hold it. It doesn't take long. And then we're going to take this, I can flip it over, and we're going to put some glue. You don't even actually have to put it there, you can just put it here. I don't know why I was telling you to glue that way, but you could actually just put it right there. A little bit of glue. My ad. Oh, that's still hot. Okay. This is a quick one. The other ones take a little bit more um, time to do. It's not too hot. And we'll just hold it there for a second. Take that little finger off. And here, this is where you can kind of adjust it just a tad bit. Like, you can stick your fingers in there and just adjust it a little bit. Kind of open it up a little bit. And if it does it, if it comes unglued a little bit, just stick some more glue in there. Let me see y'all if I can go out, because I really want to see y'all's comments. Hopefully I can. And this is the, let me just show you the finished product. So this is one that's just plain Jane. And uh, maybe I can see them actually on, nope. Won't let me see them. And then this one is kind of has the sparkles, you know, on it. So either one, and again, um, I'm going to see if I can't um, add my, uh, let's see if it let me go in here to my notes and add my YouTube channel so you guys can see it. And let's see if we can't go back in. And y'all, here in the comments, I'm going to add, let's see if that works. Okay, that's my link to my YouTube channel where I'll be coming on and doing the fall and Halloween. And I'll be doing a giveaway on, um, on these. So, um, and I'll explain how all that works um, on my YouTube uh, channel when I get it uploaded. So we've got one down, and again, you can embellish it any way you want. If you want to come along and paint it and add some pretty little uh, curly cues, you can do whatever. I'm just kind of giving you a basic. So um, let's see if we can. You know, I hate to keep messing with this, but I really want to see your comments um, as best as we can. And it's just not letting me do it. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to set this one aside. Let's just put it here. So, um, I have taken. Let's see what you want to do. So I have this neat little tool. Y'all, I love this tool. My carpenter, when I was building, when we were building our home, my carpenter showed me this tool, and I had to buy one. Um, and I use it all the time, and I'll show you how I use it. So here is what I've done. I've painted this one. I painted on both sides. You don't have to paint on both sides if you don't want. And again, I used folk art, and I just used a bark, bark brown, B-A-R-K brown. 
uh, paint to paint it, it and I have dried it in between I think this one because you know each of these paints even though they're thicker for some reason sometimes they're um, they're a little um, thinner you know than the other one so this one I think took three coats so um, I'm gonna show you two things here so the idea about this one is that uh, it's, uh, and I think I went a little too bright yellow, but you can kind of get the feel for it. Now, what I did was I took some Dollar Tree, aren't these cute? I had some of these from last year. Hopefully, they'll come back out this year. If not, I probably got about eight packs of these things, and that might, just hint, hint, that pack might be one of my giveaways. If it's not for this, it'll be for another fall project. But just to show you, um, you know, that pack from Dollar Tree came with so many of these little pumpkins. I mean, all different sizes. So, um, you know, it's just all different kinds. And so um, I got the whole Halloween set. I got the bats and everything. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you. The reason why I painted two separate ones is because I want to show you how I cut this uh, and how I actually um, added. So I'm going to be covering this up, so I needed a way to hang it, and so um, I made the holes. And you don't have to have a drill. Um, you can certainly, um, I have a little Dremel tool, and I thought, well, not everybody has a Dremel tool, so how can I, um, when I craft and show folks my crafts, I try to keep everyone in mind, people that can't paint or don't want to paint, um, or I don't know about wanting to paint, but um, aren't comfortable with painting, let's just say that. And then um, also some that are not comfortable using even a small Dremel tool. So I try to find ways um, to use um, things that aren't um, as hard to, to recreate. And so, um, the idea about this one, and we'll go back to it, um, is that, again, I had this one, and I'm trying to stay in these earthy tone colors, so um, I was going to add this, and we can do, uh, I did a simple bow here that I can add to it, and when I finish painting it, you'll see this right here, that's because when I got it to the way I wanted it to look, I went back over and distressed it with my um, sanding pad. Or we can make what I call a scrappy bow, which is multiple ribbons. I've made, been making a scrappy bow since I was probably 16, and I'm 56 now, so y'all, that's old, 40 years ago. And I call them a scrappy bow. Um, so, um, mainly I'm just going to cut this to show you how I cut it. Now, I didn't have anything to measure before, so, but... For time's sake, I'm going to just use the one I had before. And I drew this on because I'm going to hand paint that. And I just drew my little uh, design on. So, um, I'm just going to mark it here. But I wanted to show you. Let's just put this to the side. So, it has a safety latch. And y'all, I cannot for the life of me. I've had this for a long time. So, um, four years. And I can't remember the name of it right offhand. Um... But again, on my YouTube channel, down on my subscription box, I'm gonna, um, I'll tell you, um, I actually have it saved somewhere on my, on my laptop. So, um, but it's super easy to, um, to use, and it has, um, you can see it, it has different angles, so you can cut it in all different ways. But this is just gonna be a straight cut, and I'm following my mark, so. And, um, it will pop off. See how quick that is? And y'all, that's so much easier than trying to use scissors. And save your scraps because you never know um, what you can do. And it's a nice cut. I sand it. And what I did with this one is I rounded off the edges, as you can see. So you just want to sand it. And to round them off, you just go kind of, you know, just put it at a curve. And you just get it to where you where you want it 
and you see, I'll just do that over. So, so whereas um, these are going to be mostly used indoors, um, so if you plan to use these outdoors, you can use a spray sealer, 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 sorry, sealer. Um, if you plan to use them in a wreath that's going to go out outdoors, but indoors, um, you don't have to spray them. You can. Um, you can, um, and when I do the other pieces, you can use regular Mod Podge or indoor outdoor Mod Podge. But um, right now, this is just the raw raw paint. Um, if you use Mod Podge on it before you add any of the embellishments, um, you could do certainly do that, um, and it'll dry clear. Of course, you're you know you'll have to wait for that drying time. So um, I'm going to put this one aside because again, I'm going to hand paint this one. Uh, a design on it um, and we'll go back to the one that I have already um, pre-done so y'all I swear I sure do wish so what I did here just to show you quickly is I just took a um, regular medium size um, popsicle stick and I kind of laid it where I wanted it to go okay and I hope you can see this and I just marked it with the pencil and if you really really want a straight edge just do like this and we'll remark it flip this one over this is actually um, super jumbo I think I don't know what they're called but it's it's a bigger stick anyway so I'm just gonna quickly show you the tool again and that I just, I'm following that line, so you can just line it up if you want, but hey. And these are just a little bit harder um, to, to, um, to trim, but um, I use the tip of it, and then you can just turn it this other direction and just work yourself to it. Or if you want to use your scissors, you can use your scissors. So... Anyway, we'll just trim it a little bit more and you can pop them just be careful when you pop them because they will splinter so I kind of just work on it and then you just pop it and you are um, gonna have to to sand it for sure and so I won't cut the other one right now but you will just sand it down it really doesn't take that much time y'all so then get it sanded and then I painted this one um, black and I did the same thing for this piece here so I went with a brighter yellow but I think I might go back and um, repaint this to to a little bit more earthy tone I actually used dapple Dill yellow for that that I may may go back and use this hey if y'all are just joining me now we're doing some cute little fall um, using these uh, wooden banners and I'm trying to use it in all different kind of ways it's just a challenge I try to self challenge myself so for this one we're going to um, and I marked it we're just going to glue it down and all we need is just a little bit of a uh, glue doesn't take much And again, y'all, these would be so cute in a, um, you know, kind of in a wreath. Wouldn't that be cute to make some of these and just put them, put them, you know, you don't have to add that. You can do attach it however you want. Um, you still have these holes that you can poke through again. Well, this one I did a little differently. Um, and attach it in a little wreath. Wouldn't that be adorable? Um, just saying and uh, again now I mark this I have a pencil I do a lot of pencil work um, drawing and so this is actually a water soluble marking pencil um, and you can use it for fabrics and for um, for uh, drawing I do it I use it on here and there's glitter everywhere. So all we need to do is dab a little bit of glue. And 
and again, it's pretty, um, and those will come off those little spiders. I'm just gonna eyeball it, and press it down, and you can go plain or glitter. Since my pumpkin has some glitter, I'm just gonna add this little embellishment here. This is again a Dollar Tree um, from the Dollar Tree. Hopefully they'll bring out these back on fall or if you've got some in your stash. I take the little um, sticker on it because that really doesn't hold it really well. So let's just use glitter. I love glitter. And you can, um, again, oops. we're just going to glue this down. I just thought it'd be cute to add a little embellishment. And I'm using um, the Sure Bonder, but it's Gorilla Glue. So um, it's pretty heavy duty. And we'll just eyeball it again. In a few minutes. So when you get these, they already come pre with the holes here. So I had to add the holes here and I'll show you once we're done. I'll show you on the other one how I, how I made my own holes. And I'm not adding the twine, but you can use twine or you can use ribbon to kind of go in and out of there. I just wanted to show y'all all different kinds of ways of doing things. So you have, you know, a different choice. So on this one, <clears throat> again, I'm gonna use this sort of peachy flower because it's kind of like putting the pieces together. So I'm gonna trim off this part here. y'all have a different pair of scissors for my ribbon cutting so this is just my crafting ones that are a little older y'all give me some hearts and let me know if y'all like this craft I mean if I know that y'all have some crafts that, that y'all um, are interested in um, that y'all might want to um, you know so I'll know if y'all like it and if y'all want me to show you more just let me know. And again, I'm just going to add this little flower here and hold it down. Now you could, if you wanted to do, take some paper and, you know, add this down here uh, or paint it. Um, but right now, I think I'm just going to, um, and I made pre-made a little bow. And I just used wire, but you can use a pipe cleaner. And I just made... A plain bow but you can make a little scrappy bow um, and you can wire it however way you want to wire it I just use this so however you want to attach it this is the way I'm attaching it and then um, you can shoot scoot this over and you can just turn it a little bit so now we've got um, I want to hide that little metal so I've got several different kinds of buttons. Um, we could go with something that's kind of in the orange tone. Um, I even painted, um, I have some of these wooden buttons that you can use raw, which is what that looks like before, and, or you can, I painted it. That's what I like about these, you can paint or stain them. And uh, we can add this little button here, or I kind of want to tie it in with another, um, with this color over here. So I might go, you can either match it or not be matchy matchy. You know, you've got this one that's kind of super cute. It's like, it looks like a flower. And it has sort of the orange tones in it, but it has clear, so. Um, and all these buttons are different. So I don't know, I think I might add, I think I might, I don't know. Um, and they come in all different sizes, so you can do it smaller. And we'll just twist this around a little bit and we can trim off these once we're done let's see I kind of like the orange one because it stands out but I think I'm gonna use this blue because my other projects gonna have some blue in it but um, we just add a little dab of glue doesn't take much And we'll just hold it there and that's going to kind of hide hide that and again this is a little long so we can
can just trim it. You know, just trim it however you want to trim it. Okay, so this is a little more plain, and um, you can certainly take the same type of ribbon here um, and make your, um, you know, feed it through. I just happen to have this one. So we will, um, I just want to show you how. Um, I would probably go back and use the same ribbon or, you know, the twine. But I just kind of wanted to show you how the different things. And I'm looking for my little tool, my fancy tool that I had here, which is basically, y'all, I can't find it now, but it's basically a toothpick. And if you use the toothpick, you can... Um, Press it down here, which of course I probably don't have an extra one. Oh, here it is. This is what you call a fancy tool. So this will get it started. And you see you can just keep pushing that in and pushing it in. Okay, and you see it kind of gets it there. You see? And then, of course, you can tie that off and uh, go back through and do the same thing. I just fold it over and I take this toothpick. I always have a little stash of toothpicks. And you just keep kind of pushing it in until you can grab it with your fingernail. And a little bit more. So you break the, that's why you have several toothpicks in there. Until you can get it kind of pushed in. And today my fingers are not working. I have arthritis in my thumbs and they're just not helping me. Well, I was trying to do it. They apparently don't want to, don't want to work with me. So if that happens, you try again. And again, I fold it over. I may have tried a little too hard. And you try to get to the edge. There we go, much easier. All right, and then you just kind of hold on to it. There we go. And you see, so you can do it that way and then just string them along. They're so cute. Really, honestly, I would have used a, either this down here or this up here. So, But I just wanted to do different ones so you could see. And I'm not really going to tie that off. Um, um, let's just trim it off so we can use that. Okay, let me show you. So again, we it comes with the holes like this. I'm going to show you what I do to create the extra holes at the top, okay? So let's set this aside. So I have an awl, but you can actually, if you don't have an awl, you can use a nail that has kind of a thicker, uh, you know, a nail at least this size. And I use this old scrap piece of wood um, here, and I have a little hammer. Um, this actually came in a framing kit that I use for everything. Um, get this one and so I'm just gonna um, eyeball it but if you if you want to be sure we'll just you can just mark it and I usually use um, a push pin okay and I'm just gonna kind of start it a little bit I use a push pin for just about everything I use it to get things started and that's just to kind of hold this in place for me okay it's gonna get a little loud all right sorry I don't have to do all of it but again hold your hold your hands over your ears but I think you're gonna get the, the drift and what I normally do is go back on the other side I like this little hammer because I don't whap the crap out of my hands. It's easier. 
to control. And what I do then is I just come back because this puts a little rough edge. I just come back and sand it. And I usually do this before I paint them so that it's already, and then you can tr you can um, touch that up with, with your paint. But I just wanted to show you how to create your, your holes a different way than using a drill. So, okay, so let's move on to our uh, fourth, our third one, sorry, our third one. Um, and again, there's so many different little embellishments that you can um, use. If you didn't want to use a flower, you can actually do, this came from Dollar Tree as well. I just painted it. Um, you can also use scrapbook paper and do, say, if you wanted to matchy-match it, you could use a buffalo check. Instead of using a flower, you can glue a leaf to it, or you can use silk leaves, and then maybe a flower on top. You can, there's so many ways that you can embellish these things. It's, it's, uh, sorry y'all, I dropped something. Um, so many different ways, but this is just a quick one. Um, here's one that you can paint. It's a different type of wood, or you can just put a cute decorative button there, however you want to do that. So the last one, oh, and you can actually, if you wanted to, if you really want to add a little bit more to it, um, you can do that, but I'm using this on another project, so, um, but, you know, it looks more Halloweenish to me. Um, but again, this is the basics. So, my third one, hey, oh, okay, Angie, thank you for, oh, thank you so much, thank you, I thank you for joining it. And y'all, if you can, please uh, sprinkle um, so that, you know, other people can see it and it and, uh, lets me know that other people um, may enjoy these crafts and, um, and, and keep doing, you know, helps me to know to keep doing them. So this one, I actually took, it's gonna be a scarecrow hat, and I actually cut it at an angle. And so, um, to give it sort of that kind of bent look. And um, again, I just eyeballed it, but for this purpose, I trimmed it. So we're gonna trim it, and we're actually gonna use some scrapbook paper, just to show you real quick. And I used, um, I just cut out some different ones, and I used the pink and shears to give it that kind of cute little patchwork look to it. And um, we're gonna add um, a little flower here, and you can make it as plain as you want, or you can add an actual leaf with the flower on top, whatever you choose to do. So we'll just kind of give you that idea. And um, I'm not gonna glue these down. I'm going to use my um, Mod Podge. So um, here again, we're going to, I have a mark on it so I see I can see where, where I'm going to trim this. And again, you can trim these before they're painted, but since I was doing this project, um, it's much easier to trim your pieces before you paint them because the paint does seem to make it a little bit more difficult. And so I just want to um, tell you that um, you can cut it, but it's usually not that hard, and then I would touch that up. It's usually not that hard. Um, but I wanted to show you how it looked painted um, and then you would sand it. Now it's super pointy. So I would sand it and then of course curve it around to give it this look. There you go. It has that kind of a look. And I used a really cute um, blue color cascade on that. And we'll put this one aside. twitch there. Okay, so I pre-cut my scrapbook paper. I buy it from all kinds of places. So here's some that I had. And um, again, I uh, 
flip this over onto my paper and you can see here where I just sort of cut an outline and then I went just outside that line with my pink and shears. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. So you can flip it this way or you can flip it this way. So whichever way um, you want it to look. So this kind of looks kind of cute this way. Um, or you can cut them both um, that way. And so what I did, let's see if I can reach over here. I can find it, y'all. I hope I did. I hope I brought it. I had it. Did I pull it out? I did. Okay, so we're going to use Smodge Podge. You get this from Dollar Tree. Um, this is just a regular, um, you know, regular Mod Podge. But you can use the indoor, outdoor, um, or a satin finish. And I've got my paintbrush. And what I do is when I'm working on my surface, I lay out some wax paper and I take some um, painter's tape right here and I just put it on the corner so it doesn't move around on me. And then that way I can um, do my painting and it's not gonna mess anything up. Or my Mod Podging. So, um, I'm not gonna wet this. I think I'll do a dry brush. And it doesn't take much. And so I'm just going, you gotta work quick with this stuff. And you just want a thin, thin coat. Now, if you have some spray adhesive, you could do that as well. I think we thought we were gonna do it this way. So we'll just line that up. And I think I'm gonna try to get where we don't see it. And we just press it down. And when that dries, we'll come along and sand the edges. You can just trim that piece right there. It doesn't take much to trim it. Once it's dry, you know, I'm doing it wet, but I would say just come along and just trim it just a little. And um, you don't even have to trim it so small. And once it's dry, you'll come back and, and distress it. And it's okay if you get some of this. This is fine. So, um, again, we're going to Mod Podge. And I'm just kind of randomly going to pick um, pieces that I want. So, we'll put that. And we'll probably angle one here. Or we can just do it that way. Let's do it that way. Yeah. Okay. And again, we're just going to, I may do the bigger piece here. It just depends. I like the smaller piece up there. So we're going to take some more Mod Podge. And we're just going to, um, there we go, on top of this to really seal it down, but for today, we're just gonna angle this. I like it kinda angled. And um, it's wherever you want to, um, see, I laid that down and it's on my wax paper, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Just gonna lay that down and we're gonna do it at an angle. Maybe like right there. And again, it's however way you want to do it. And um, I got a little bit of water over here. And I'm gonna get a paper towel. It is water soluble, of course. And we'll just lay that over to the side. I'll clean it a little bit better after the live. So again, you can embellish with um, a button if you want. Um, this one has kind of a real pretty rust color. It can be as small as you want. You can put buttons here. Again, it's whatever you choose. If you um, want to use a leaf, you can use a leaf, um, but, or a just pretty wooden button that looks good with it. I actually like this little button here. And so I think I'm gonna add a little button there. Again, this is just kind of the seat of my pants, y'all. I had a little bit of an idea, but 
I wish I could see y'all's comments, honestly. Oh, isn't that cute? And again, I made that hole right there using that awl. And um, let's see. I didn't paint these, so I don't want to use them. You could use them raw, but I don't know. It just looks, doesn't like it. Let's cover our Mod Podge. Okay, so I have a different little flower here. And so we could cut that flower. Let's just trim it and see how it looks. I'll cut it some more if I like it. I have some other cute little things. Oh, oh seriously, y'all, just pick anything you want. If you like butterflies, that would be cute on top of it. You know, that may be a little too big, but if you had a small butterfly, I know Dollar Tree uh, carries the smaller butterflies. That would be cute. I mean, you know, butterflies are still around in the, in the, uh, and then we could take, let's see, losing my stuff now. And you could take something like this and put it in there, or you can take a, a button and add it to the flower or do a combination. And I'm looking for my other flower. There we go. So you can leave this solid and add a little button here. And um, I just, you know, you can, this one's really neat. So it looks gray, but it's actually sort of a taupe. So it has the, I can't hold on to it. So it's actually kind of a tannish brownish. And it, um, of course would go with these flowers. If I were putting all three of them, it would kind of tie it together. Um, so you could um, add it just like that. Um, but I think I'm going to save that one, and I kind of like this, so I'm going to trim it just to make it as flat as possible because it has some yellow leaf in it. And then we'll just glue that down. I like the leaf. And again, it's just whatever your little heart desires, whatever you got on hand. And we'll hold that down for a minute. And that's getting hot. <laughs> Ooh, that is hot. Need my little rubber finger. Again, y'all, wouldn't these be cute? I'm just telling you. Whoops. You know, you could add a couple of these into your wreath. Um, and then also... It's painted on the back and you could do a little, little, you know, design. And again, I made my own little um, wood stakes. This is too large, but you could use a smaller um, one like here and, um, and just trim it off, you know, a smaller stake. And, um, and then, you know, glue it to the back. And you could use E6000 if you really wanted to. Um, let's just do that. So I just kind of do them like that, and then I come at an angle, and see if I had a little longer one, of course, um, then you could glue to this to the back. It would need to be longer if you're going to put it in a centerpiece. Wouldn't that be cute, just sitting cute and pretty in a centerpiece um, that you're working on? So we're again, we're going to. Just take this flower, it's just a plain flower. I can't remember where I picked it up. Just in my stash, I save all my little pieces parts. And we're just gonna add a little bit of glue. Y'all, I hope this isn't taking long. I didn't watch my time. So we can just sit this. And I like, oops, I almost burnt myself. Ooh, I sure did. As I let it go, well, you know what we can do with that? Those are boo-boos that you can make. And when you do something like that, you can just add a cute little button to hide it. Didn't, didn't burn myself, but almost. <laughs> so let's fix our boo-boo. Just add a bit more glue to where it was and stick it on there. So easy. Easy fix. And I kind of like the color of this. Oh, isn't that cute? So we have a little bit different ones. 
I really like that. Although I like it over here, but I kind of like it there. The center is not of this flower is just not not the best. So we'll just hide it. Let's see if we can just pop that down there and gently push it on. Oh yeah. So see, isn't that cute, y'all? And again, you can take some straw here. I would probably trim this off and take some ribbon. Maybe this one. Let's make it a little shorter. Let's fold it over. And I call it straw, but it's actually raffia. And um, you don't have to use, I mean, you know, when you make a scrappy bow, you can, you can just do. I got all different colors. See, I got all these little ribbons. I could pick up that one. I got white. I do have a brown somewhere, but I'm not sure what I did with it. I don't want to. Oh, I have one that says, has all these colors in it. Wouldn't that be cute? Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to set that down. Again, these are just, these are ribbons, y'all. I don't know if Walmart carries them anymore, but they used to, and they would have them after the season. Um, they actually were pretty cheap anyway. Um, that might be a little too long. We'll trim it down. Um, I got them for like 50 cents or 25 cents for three yards. And they're great for these little projects. Um, now, you can dovetail it. Let's just do one or the other. And this is not wired. So you can dovetail it or you can cut them at an angle. I'm just doing both ways. I would certainly pick one or the other. And then um, let's see what looks better. And you could use more ribbons. I've got some gold here. That's kind of pretty. I like that too. And I just put them together. You can you can certainly add and subtract ribbons. Y'all, if y'all want to sprinkle um, and just, you know, sprinkle the love and bless my page, that would be awesome. Give me some hearts or let me know that you are enjoying this. Again, we'll just trim some of this off. And I'm just cutting just randomly. I think I put the solid underneath here. Okay. And so we can just, oh yeah, that's so cute. And I have got some, um, y'all gonna have to, it's got a, Hold of it. I've got wire. Well, apparently, I can't do that. Let's see. I have a pipe cleaner. Hold on. Hang on. Let's find my pipe cleaner stash. Woo! What colors do we have? I have a little creamy tan. I got a dark brown, but I got creamy tan. Or maybe even a white. I'll leave one out. Huh. That kind of goes with the color. So, um, this is what I would do. And you can just twist them any way you want, but I'll, I'll just pinch them in the center. And again, I call this a little scrappy bow. It can be as many as you want. can just kind of twist them out and again it's just a cute little bow you could add more if you want I just this is just what I randomly randomly got or you can use some blues and then um, I would just trim it just a little bit more 
because we really don't need to wrap it around anything. Kind of fold it back. And again, we can just adjust it. It says fall, autumn, and turkeys. Isn't that cute? And then we can just randomly. Now that may be too much, or you can actually add it to the top. Let's see. I might put my little, um, it's kind of cute, but then it hides this, so you could add it kind of to the side. Or you can add it down here, since we already have that. Whoops. And we have our cute little button there, and you can add a third one. Sometimes I like things more in three. But I have a third one here, so it's forming a, a triangle here. It's always good in design to kind of do things in threes. It's more pleasing to the eye. I can't decide. I kind of like it here, but then I kind of like it at the top or further down under the patch. I can't decide. That's kind of cute. Oh, that's a cute. Hmm. Yeah, it's too much this way. I think I'm just going to do it here, you guys. I'm just picking a place. Oops. Hopefully that wasn't too much glue, but we'll try to pull it down just a tad and hold it there. Okay. So what I would have... Y'all, that's just... I'm sorry. That's just cute. And again, you can make this a garland um, uh, for your fireplace. It's meant to be a trio. Again, I would come back and finish finish that and mod, normally would Mod Podge it, but I didn't want to take up all that time. So um, I'll be doing another set of these for my giveaway, and it'll be all nicely done, and I'll match the ribbons. So here's my little trio. And you can use them individually or string them all with jute. I didn't add the jute here. Um, but here's my little Thanksgiving trio. I hope y'all like it. Um, yeah. Just let me know. And again, I used a brown for my pilgrim hat. And I might come back and add a little something here. Just to kind of highlight that that's the brim of the hat. And this is sort of another trim piece. Um, but we'll see how that goes. But you could certainly paint this black and do a brown uh, um, trim piece here. I just picked the earth tones to kind of go along with the browns that I had in here. Um, you can, it's your choice, designer's choice. And here's the little trio. So while we're here, I went ahead and I uh, got started and give you a sneak peek. So, I got started on my Halloween set. So, I have a witch's hat and a candy corn. And I'm still trying to think of my third one um, that I want to add. I like to do it in two in odd numbers. And um, so, I'm still working on my third one for my Halloween. If y'all have any suggestions, please suggest it. Um, and then I'm going to do a Christmas in July. So, here's my um, Santa hat. This is going to be a gnome hat. And then I'm probably going to do another one, maybe a tree. I haven't, uh, I'm still, um, I'm still debating. So I've got those two figured out. Hopefully I'll have them done by tomorrow. And uh, we'll figure that out. And um, kind of shift this over. So just to show you that you could add all kinds of little embellishments. This is cute little corn. Um, if you wanted to add a piece of... I think it's kind of big for this to me, but um, you could add that, you know, into there. But y'all let me know what you think. And again, these would just be darling on a, in a centerpiece. Um, just to add, add a little something. And again, I would use a smaller um, stake, probably even smaller than this one. And then um, glue it to the back. And if you, I would paint it. Um, and then glue it to the back and then you could also just to make it a little more decorative I would add probably a button button there and um, if I wanted to add it to my wreath here's a quick little way um, to do it 
You can use these holes. You could poke a hole through that paper back through there and wire it here. Um, if you didn't want to do that, this one may be a little tougher. Um, oops, wrong one. You can certainly still use those holes, but you can glue a button down to the bottom and wrap your floor wire around there, around your button. That's another little quick tri trick that I use when I'm making my own little embellishments. And again, you can wire through here. This has been covered up, um, but you could do that. And again, you could do the same thing, add a little button um, to the back and then use your floor wire to go around it. I would use maybe, uh, that's Gorilla Glue. I think it holds well, as long as you don't pull super hard. Um, and that would be to add it to a wreath. And again, you could glue that. Of course, I would paint this to blend in with your um, centerpiece. And then you could wrap, um, you know, just to kind of give it a little something. Just where it looks a little more decorative than just a piece of wood um, glued there. So y'all, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, if you haven't already, um, uh, let's see, if you haven't already um, started following me, um, do so now because I have a lot of fun fall crafts coming up and, um, and Christmas crafts um, coming up as well as centerpieces, swags, and wreaths that I'll be making. So um, I'll be making some here and on my YouTube page. And up in the comments, you'll see my, my YouTube. So uh, please uh, head over there and subscribe to my channel and tap that bell so you can uh, get notified when I upload things to uh, YouTube. And I don't always share everything here um, that I share on YouTube or even on my Instagram. And they're all sweet tea makery. Um, Again, y'all have a blessed evening, and thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see y'all again soon. Bye now.